So physical features, um, uh, the most notable change would have been the whole library science area that was built in the early 90s, mm -hmm. right? So the building opens in 58, there's no changes to that, then that uh, addition comes on. Is any furniture from the 50s and 60s still in the building? The desks in my room, room five, are tables that are science tables that I, they were throwing them out when they did, redid some of the science rooms and I, uh, I wanted tables instead of individual desks and mm -hmm. So I know those are. Uh, where was the library before uh, the extension in the 90s? Okay, so the library was it where the main office is mm -hmm. today, like where, uh, uh, so this, you see the teacher mailboxes that, mm -hmm. that used to be part of the kitchen for the library, and the library was all from there, Mr. Seymour's office, that little drop down was the periodical room where they kept all the magazines. Mm -hmm. And that was the main library. And then where is the main office? So the main office shared space with where with the guidance offices today. Mm -hmm. That was the main office. What about like computers and stuff? Like how is technology back in the school? All right, obviously when I was a student here, there was no such thing as computers, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I came back as a teacher, we were just starting to get a few computers. The computer lab, the first computer lab in Pawtucket, was upstairs in what is now the English wing uh, at the far end, Miss Bent's room, mm -hmm. Dr. Bent's room, yeah. and there were maybe ten old-fashioned laptop computers that, like the the power of a 286, would be way less than your phone. Mm -hmm. way less memory than your phone, way less processing speed than your phone, and they used to teach just like real, what was called DOS programming. This mm -hmm. is all right before Apple breaks every, changes everything, and Microsoft comes in right after mm -hmm. that. And then, but even for the next 10 years, we started to get some teachers having computers at their desk, no computers for students. Then we built the, uh, com we started building a bigger computer lab. And then, I don't know, laptops are fairly new. Was color day a thing back then when you were in uh, high school? Okay, so when I was in high school, there was a, a big color day. But in those days, we used to play Masco on the Saturday before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the color day thing would have been the week before, like it, and it would be like a pep rally. I don't mm -hmm. remember skits and things like that. Mm -hmm. Then when I came back to teach, right, in the uh, mid-80s, by then, Triton had been built on that day. We started the Thanksgiving Day rivalry, mm -hmm. and then we had the Color Day, and then Cut Spirit Week, and all that stuff.